Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angel's Way of Adventure. And today's video, I'm going to make a spear gun because I got a new hobby today that I'm going to spear fishing on the river for the northern pike and the white perch but the other species are prohibited to spear in my region here in Quebec, Canada. So, from this block of wood, I'm going to make a spear gun. So, at the back of it, I draw an outline of the spear gun that I'm going to make. It's about 20 inches from the end to end and about 6 inches from the bottom of the handle to the top of the gun and I'm going to put a trigger mechanism in here I'm gonna cut it and put a trigger mechanism in here so I'm gonna show you what I made a trigger mechanism a pretty simple one so uh, this is the trigger mechanism that I made. This is the trigger with a spring and with a shear. It goes like that. But when you pull the trigger, the shear will go down. This shear will hold the spear. This is the spear that I made. It has a slot in here. See if you can see there's a slot. That slot the shear will go into it and it will hold it into place so that it will not gonna fire so when the shear is down example you shoot it and then you put it again it will push the shear and engage the trigger will lock the shear in place and it will never go out and the housing of this trigger mechanism that I made, it's an aluminum. The thickness is 0.5 inches and about 1 and a half inches in width and the length is about 2 and a half inches. So it's pretty small but pretty effective and uh, it's made of aluminum but the, the trigger and the shear and the pins and the spring are stainless steel so that it will never uh, rusted when you're out on the water for so long you can use it on the salt water but you need to anodize the, the aluminum but you don't have to worry about the stainless steel that I put it in there so I'm gonna put it like that yeah. like that so I'm gonna show you how it works when the trigger mechanism is inside the housing I'm just gonna remove the pins I show you I just put it outside so I can show you how it works on the outside it's pretty simple to assemble just first put the shear with a pin in it just push it then tap it to go in and then uh, what you need to do is first you need to put the spring with the lock pin like that as you can see it snap on place and then the trigger just push the pin down and then tap it a little bit so that it will hold in place it will never go out And make sure that the pins are flat on your housing so that when you put it 
on the butt of the uh, your gun it will never interrupt it by the pin like that just a little tap so as you can see it's gonna work like that and the shear is uh, on the lower part because I pull the trigger but when I put the spear to it it will push the shear see you can never pull the spear it's pretty hard but it's pretty simple to release see it's easy snap it will never lose and it's pretty safe I would like to put a safety pin in this but I will put it first on the gun on the uh, gun itself but I need to cut it and form it into shape before I put it on the gun excuse me uh, these two are just uh, bolt heads you can grind it to make it uh, a little bit uh, uh, better but for me it's okay it will never interrupt the water uh, this is a stainless six millimeter uh, rod uh, the length is also 20 inches 20 by 20 but when you put it all together it will create a uh, 26 inches because this uh, trigger mechanism is a little bit forward by uh, 4 inches but the the spear is plus 2 inches up forward so it's pretty compact you can just put it in your bag when you're traveling just like that and I will show you I'm gonna cut it and form it into shape on the next video just bear with me guys